I am very happy to confirm that Sam Wilson will be appearing in the next Captain America film, which is called Captain America New World Order. Last July Comic Con, Kevin Feige announced the title of the new Captain America movie. And then in September, the cast stood on the stage at D23 behind the graphic of the New World Order. So what's I happening? I have not seen a script. I just think it's a lot of flying. In. in February, as Anthony Mackie promoted another movie, We Have a Ghost, he didn't have to worry about spilling any secrets about the upcoming film because it was all still a secret to him too. Are we gonna see more of that story told in this next one? I don't know, dude. Okay, I haven't okay, seen okay. a script. Well, production started a month later in March and it's not till June that we're getting our first on-set update so we'll get to his picture in a second, but we're going to start with Anthony's caption, which said, Can't wait to do it again. Marvel Studios' Captain America Brave New World in theaters, May 3rd, 2024. Yep, we have a brave new subtitle. So that people are debating whether or not this is a better title than New World Order, and they're also debating what the meaning behind Brave New World could be. Now, some people think it could be a reference to the 1932 book written by Aldous Huxley, which focused on a world of government control and fake happiness for the betterment of society as a whole. Now, yeah, you can go on and debate this in the comments if you want. I really don't have any input. It's a title to me. I don't really care. So let's get <laughs> to the rest of Anthony's post, Harrison Ford. So the rest of his caption said, when Harrison Ford tells you how kicking ass should look, you listen, LOL. Thanks for the onset wisdom and last, my friend. Yeah, so that's your first look at Harrison Ford joining the Marvel Universe. I'm down to just doing things that I never would do. The 80-year-old is still willing to try new things, so he's taking over the role of General Thaddeus Thunderbolt Ross, played by the late William Hurt, across several Marvel movies. Now, of course, Harrison was part of a galaxy far, far away, so jumping into another universe isn't that far-fetched for him. It just seems like everybody's having a lot of fun. A bunch of good actors having a lot of fun. I said, oh, can't be bad. So that's why I'm in the Marvel Universe. Now from that photo, it looks like Anthony and Harrison are having a lot of fun on set. And Anthony said on the Happy Sad Confused podcast back in February that he was going to try to set the tone right from that very first day on set. I think I'm going to try and pull some diva shit. Like I'm number one on Harrison Ford. On the first day and let everybody know this is my set and I'm the star. I don't care who you cast. I I'm the man. What do you think? No, no. <laughs> so I don't know if Anthony ended up doing that, but he is still alive. So it either went really well or he didn't do it. Hmm. <laughs> now, I do know from that photo that Anthony was right about how he looks in that Captain America suit. And the round brown is looking delicious in the spandex, baby. I love Anthony Mackie. I interviewed him twice. And you can see he has a lot of energy. He kind of comes right at you and not everyone can kind of contend with that, but I love that. That's like, I get so excited when that happens in interviews because it's like, oh good, I can banter with somebody. And I hope, I know Captain America movies are fairly serious, but I hope they're able to somehow get Anthony's energy that he shows in interviews into the movie and put it up against Harrison's kind of, I don't know, grumpy old men routine. That'd be really fun to see. But yeah, the title, the suit, Harrison, what do you want to talk about?